and India's scripted history. Well, fresh updates in India's Chandrayaan-3 mission after the successful landing of the Vikram module near the south pole of the moon. India's President Draupadi Murmu has announced that the Pragyan rover has been deployed on the lunar surface now. Earlier, Indian President Draupadi Murmu took to social media and posted that the rover rolled out a few hours after the landing of Vikram. President Murmu also congratulated Team ISRO for the successful deployment. ISRO also confirmed that the rover successfully descended from the lander on a ramp and took a walk on the moon. The rover, named after Vikram Sarabhai, the founder of India's space program, will now spend a day on the moon. It will conduct scientific experiments to understand the properties of the lunar surface. The spacecraft landed on the unexplored south pole of the moon on Wednesday evening, making India the first country to achieve this very feat. And India's successful lunar mission is being seen as a joint leap in lunar exploration and India's standing as a space power. And here's how the world leaders reacted to India's monumental achievement. And from on this, we have with us former Deputy Director of ISRO, Arup Das Gupta. Thank you so much for joining us on Beyond, sir. Thank you and good morning. Good morning to you as well, sir. Now, the Pragyan rover has been deployed, which is equipped with X-ray and spectrometers. Uh, what kind of elements do we expect to discover on the lunar surface and what is their significance? Uh, well, uh, the rover is equipped with uh, two major instruments. Uh, one of them is called the uh, the X-ray, uh, the X-ray uh, and uh, alpha uh, ray uh, spectrometer. Uh, this is basically going to look at the surface composition of the uh, of the moon's uh, regolith or moon surface. The other is a laser-induced uh, spectroscope which will essentially beam down a laser uh, beam uh, onto the surface, vaporizing a part of it. And then that part of it, uh, that vapor is going to be pushed through a spectroscope to understand what are the possible elements which are there uh, in the moon, uh, lunar uh, regolith. And of course, it will definitely also look for uh, what everybody has been talking about, that is water. Uh, in either uh, raw form, or uh, in the form of a, of a hydroxide of a, a mineral. Raj, Raj? Right, sir. I was just coming to that. The Chandrayaan 1 detected water on the moon, which was indeed a significant global discovery. Is there anything that Chandrayaan 3 is also looking for specifically, which can be a game changer for human space exploration? Yes, that is true, because uh, what, what we are looking for is uh, not only the water, but also the uh, the po possibility of minerals being there. Uh, for example, we are looking at the uh, possibility of magnesium, aluminium, silicon, of course, potassium, calcium, and titanium. These uh, kind of minerals are all very important for the future uh, projects, which is essentially to build a moon base. So you need water and you need a lot of minerals, and these are going to be the uh, the you know the building blocks for ultimately setting up a moon base and then uh, using the moon base to make further explorations of the planets and so forth. So we uh, can say these are baby steps which you are taking towards that direction, Raisha. Right, so it is indeed a remarkable feat for India and ISRO. Thank you so much for joining.